morning guys. Right, today we're going through some activity skills. Okay, so before we start, you need to make sure that you've got lots of space around you. So move everything out of the way that you may bump into. Okay, like we need to do our warm up to start with. So on the spot, I want you marching on the spot. Up we go. Perfect. Bring your knees up and swinging your arms. Well done. Can you march around? Excellent. Right, we're going to speed it up now to jog. Off we go. The jog is just a little bit faster than a walk. Again, if you've got space, can you jog around? Perfect. Right, we're going to change to some hops. Remember, if your one leg gets tired, you can swap and use your other leg. Ready? Off we go. Well done, and you can swap. Perfect, keep going. Right, jogging, off we go. And star jumps. Jogging. Star jumps. And stop there. Right, hopefully you're a little bit warmer now. So we're going to do some activity skills using our tennis ball. Okay? So what we're going to do to start with is some throwing and catching. So you hopefully can remember our throwing and catching skills. Cup shape, throwing it head height. So for 30 seconds, let's have a little practice of our throwing and catching. Off you go. Well done. So cup shape, throw it as high as your head. Perfect. Keep your eye on the ball. Nice big cup shape to catch the ball. If you look, my sword's not moving, I'm standing still. Well done. And stop there. Perfect. Just remember when you're throwing and catching, you have to keep your eye on the ball because if you look away that's when it drops to the floor okay right today we're going to do some throwing into a target so we're going to do some under arm throws okay so for this you're going to need a target i've got a box you could use a bucket or a hoop or just something to aim for or if you've got a friend with you you can even throw it to a partner okay so i'm going to be aiming into our bucket two down. So for an underarm throw, you need to hold the ball in one hand and it swings back and forward. So it comes underneath, okay? And I just want you to practice throwing your ball underarm into your target, okay? Off you go, can you do that? So practice your underarm throw into your target. So swing back, and swing forward. Well done. That's it. So practice throwing it into your target. Back and forwards. Next, we'll do one more. Back. Oh, nearly. So it doesn't matter if you miss. Right, this time, when we're throwing underarm, we can use our other hand to help us as well. Have a little think what we can do with that other arm to help us. Hmm, what could we do? What could we do with that one? So Miss Ward's got the ball in this hand, what could I do with this arm to help me get it in my target? Hmm, right, this is gonna be our aiming arm. So we're gonna aim where we want the ball to go. So I'm going to aim for the red box. So that's where I want my aiming arm to point to. We don't want to point up to the sky, or down to the floor, or to pointing to your target. Okay, so where you want the ball to go. So that's my aiming arm. So we've moved the arm again, swing back and forwards. Okay, and I'm not doing it super fast or super hard, it's just a nice slow swing back, swing forward. Aiming where you want the ball to go. Off you go, give that one a try. So remember, one hand to throw, aiming arm out at your target. Swing back, swing forwards. Well done. Keep going, a few more goes. Well 
And one more, and you come out. Excellent. Right, this time I'm going to give you a challenge. I'm going to give you one minute to count how many points you can get. And you're going to get a point every time your ball lands in your target. Okay, so you're going to have one minute. Ready? Miss Ward will do it as well to see if, what score I can get. Right, three, two, one, go. Okay, your score, remember? And then I'm out. Oh, missed. Keep going, guys. Halfway. Oh, missed. Ten seconds left. Keep your score. And stop there. Right, Miss Ward scored five. I'd love to see your videos on the school Twitter showing me your score. Right, this time what we're going to do, we're going to make it a little bit more of a challenge. So we're now going to move back. So we're going to leave our box where it is, our target, and we're going to move back. So what do you think we've got to change now when we're throwing? Have a little think. So we're still going to do an underarm. We're still going to use our hanging arm to help. But have a little think what we might have to do a little bit different now. Mm. Beginning with P, we're going to have to change the P, the power of our throw. Because when we're close, it's very gentle. Not very much power. But when we move back, we've got to use more power. So we've got to throw it a little bit harder. Okay? So now, move back. Move back from your target, and we're going to give it a go. Just allow underarm throw, swing it underneath, and arm out to help us. But now we need to use a little bit more power. Let's have a practice first. Off you go. So remember, more power now. It's not quite reaching. You've got to use more power. So swing back. And forwards. That's it. Well done. Right. I want to see some of your videos of you giving it a go at using your underarm throws. So make sure you post those on the school Twitter for me to have a look at. Okay. That's it for today, guys. Well done. And I'll see you later.